My name is Ingrid Dobshi. I am a professor of mathematics at Duke University. I have been involved for the last two years almost in a very large uh, collaborative art installation that seeks to illustrate uh, mathematical concepts but also communicate the joy and the whimsy and the beauty of mathematics. It's a room full of stuff, we call it mathemalchemy. It's a wonderful world that shows tons of mathematical concepts in ways you have never seen them before and it's fun and it's beautiful, it's magical. About two years ago I saw a magnificent installation by Canadian textile artist Dominique Ehrman. I thought maybe somebody with this fantastic imagination and these skills would be open to try to work with mathematicians. And so I contacted her. What she found in my work is, even if I'm not a mathematician, my work has an angle with a lot of mathematic concept. And she was not the first who told me that. Ingrid had this vision of an installation that would bring people understanding that math is beautiful and fun and could be accessible for everybody. Originally, we were going to do this in three workshops where we would get together and build things. But then COVID happened. Everything was cancelled. But we decided to hold our workshop on Zoom and everybody would work and, and we, we put together little working groups on different components of the installation. And so all these components were fabricated and then brought here and we've been building the whole uh, installation. We had to make something that would hold. So we needed a story and we needed scenes. We have a bakery, we have a curio store, we have a terrace where you can eat little pastries. We have a, a nautical scene with the bay, which has become a nautical scene with K-N-O-T's, knots. I came here from Denver and I am an artist and I was part of the nautical scene, so I made the entire bay. Well, I orchestrated it being made. Everything has a twist to it, so to speak, that have, has to do with knot theory. There's many stories. And with the experience I have in art, I like to keep it open. I think there will be a sense of wonder and awe and curiosity, absolutely. Because you might look at something and not understand what it is, but you want to know what is this beautiful thing and what does it mean in math. It's an alchemistic mixture of mathematical concepts. Alchemistic in the sense that it's a little bit magical, mystical, and, and the idea is also that the, the same concepts come back in different places in mathematics. So there's this, this whole brew of all these different concepts and how they all interweave with each other. So we intend this to be a living exhibit. Now I see the poetry in math, I see the beauty of math, and the, all the color in math, and that has changed. The last two years has been a, a real transformation for me. If more people can understand that mathematics is not this dreary subject that everybody or most people hate in high school, but that it can have that wonderment for you, and that you don't have to be a mathematical, really genius or really talented person. It doesn't require special uh, instinct to get it, just like you can appreciate great art without being an artist, uh, then I think I will, we will feel that we have succeeded.